Hey guys, what's up? So today I wanted to talk to you about sleep paralysis, otherwise known as old hag syndrome. Now I personally suffer from numerous sleep disorders, but this one is probably my most terrifying sleep disorder. Waking up unable to move is just the most terrifying thing that you can experience. So when you are going to sleep at night, there is a stage where you enter into sleep paralysis. Now you are supposed to be asleep during this. It's supposed to be your body's way of protecting you from acting out your dreams. But unfortunately, sometimes this process backfires and you wake up while you are in sleep paralysis. It's a very scary experience when you wake up in a state of sleep paralysis. So many people out there suffer seeing the same types of things when they wake up in this state. People will sometimes hear disturbing voices, growling, breathing in their ear, and sometimes they'll even see shadowy figures in the room with them. A few of the more common ones are seeing the old hag and the hat man. Now the hat man is typically seen as a shadowy dark figure in your room looming over you wearing a fedora hat. Whereas the old hag tends to be just a creepy shadowy figure of an old woman wearing tattered, torn clothing, sometimes even seen on top of you. I personally have experienced the old hag and it was probably the scariest thing that I have ever experienced in my entire life. When I woke up, I was experiencing sleep paralysis. Now, because I have suffered from having these episodes multiple times, I've gotten almost used to them. So I tell myself, okay, you're just, you're just stuck in sleep paralysis. It's okay, just breathe through it and tell your body over and over to wake up and keep trying to, you know, pull yourself out of it, try to move your fingers, try to blink your eyes, see if you can move your head or speak. And these things usually help to bring me out of a sleep paralysis episode relatively quickly. Cause unfortunately you can't really do much when you're in sleep paralysis. When I woke up on this occasion, there was an old woman in the corner of my room, standing there, staring right at me, cackling in a maniacal way. I was so afraid, and I tried to tell myself I was probably just hallucinating, but I will never know. Maybe these beings are attracted to us when we're in that vulnerable state of being where we can't move and they know we can't move, maybe they wake us up and that's why we wake up in the sleep paralysis state when we're supposed to be sleeping and dreaming when all of a sudden we're pulled out of our dream and we see these horrific figures. And I don't know about you, but I find it kind of strange that we all tend to see very similar things. And when I saw this old hag looking woman in the corner of my room, I had not heard any stories about the old hag syndrome yet. The internet was not really what it is today at the time. So there really wasn't a lot of information. So the fact that I was experiencing this and later on, years later, found out that a lot of people have had this exact same experience and seen this exact same type of entity is just, it's just terrifying and really, really freaky. I don't know, have you guys experienced anything like this with sleep paralysis? Have you experienced sleep paralysis? Have you seen any of these types of entities or figures in your room if you did experience this? Please, I would love to read your experiences down in the comment section below. I don't know, you guys. It's these kinds of things, it's just they try to explain them away with science, but 
the fact that so many people experience the same thing and see these same entities, it makes you really kind of wonder. So I hope you enjoyed my story today. If you did, then please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel where I post new videos every week. Thanks for watching, guys. Sweet dreams.